Good day students! I am Ms. Levy C. Herpacio, your Science 9 teacher for today. Come and join me as we explore the wonders of universe through Science 9. For this episode, you will learn the characteristics of stars as well as the various patterns that form the group of stars. This will cover our most essential learning competency that is to show that constellation may be observed at different times of the year using model. Specifically, you will learn the following objectives. First, describe stars through their basic characteristics. Second, identify what constellation will be visible on different parts of the year. And lastly, understand the relationship between the visible constellations in the sky and Earth's position along its orbit. When was the last time you heard or recited this song? I know, this song reminds you when your mother or your preschool teacher sing to you when you are still a little child. Have you ever wondered what a star is? Star is a massive ball of hot gas called plasma. The sun is an example of a star, the nearest star to our planet and the only star in the solar system. But when we look at the clear night sky, we see thousands of stars. In reality, there are approximately 400 billions of stars in our galaxy, and there are about 170 billion galaxies. It's awesome, right? But despite this great number of stars in our galaxy, a person can only see about 3,000 of stars on the average. Stars can be classified based on its basic characteristics, such as color, surface temperature, brightness, size, and mass. Let's have them one by one. What does the color of the star mean? The star color ranges from red to blue. The star's color is dependent to its surface temperature. The table shows the surface temperature and the color of the nearby stars including the sun. Which is the hottest star? How about the coolest star? In star, blue is hotter than yellow and yellow is hotter than red. Cooler stars tend to be redder in color while hotter stars are bluer. But how do we classify our sun? What is its color? Our sun is a mid-range star since its color is yellow. Isn't it amazing that the closest stars to our Earth is not so hot? That means it is possible for the life to exist in our planet. Are all stars equally bright? The brightness of the star as seen from the Earth depends on two factors, the distance and the actual brightness of the star. The star's brightness as seen from the Earth is its apparent brightness. The size and distance of the star from a viewpoint affect its apparent brightness. For instance, Sirius appeared brighter than the other two stars because it is closer to us. The Sun is apparently the brightest stars because it is the neither star from the Earth. How about their real brightness? The real brightness of the star, regardless of its distance to the Earth, is called absolute brightness. Sirius may appear brighter than Rigel, but Rigel is in fact 1,500 times brighter than Sirius. Stars' absolute brightness is the brightness the stars will have if all stars will have the same distance from the Earth. Try to take a look at this picture. Which star is bigger? Is it Sirius or Rigel? Can you really tell the size of stars by just looking at it? This figure shows the size of the sun as compared to some other stars we see at night. As we can see, the sun is so small compared to other nearby stars. Also, Sirius which appeared bigger than Rigel is actually very small compared to Rigel. It only appeared larger because it is closer to us. about the mass of the stars? The mass of the star is an important predictor for many other characteristics including how long will it live. 
Astronomers use indirect methods to determine the masses of stars since they can't directly touch them. Typically, more massive stars live shorter lifetimes than the less massive one. This is because they consume their nuclear fuel faster. Do you now have a clear understanding of the characteristics of stars? That's good! Let's continue our discussion with the concept of constellations. What is a constellation? Constellation is a group of stars that appears to form a pattern. They may appear close to each other, but they are actually light years apart. Astronomers recognize 88 constellations within the celestial sphere. The celestial sphere is an imaginary sphere of a large unspecified size where the objects we can see in the sky are drawn and projected. People from long time ago named the patterns that they see on the night sky after their deities, heroes, objects, and animals. Most of legends, myths, or stories behind them. 48 out of 88 constellations that are recognized by the astronomers were named based on Greek and Roman mythologies. But nearly all cultures have different names for different constellations. For example, the Greeks called the large constellation Orion, which means hunter and is prominent in the night sky all over the world during winter. Early Filipinos visualized the same group of stars as Balati, a trap used in hunting wild boars. Some of the constellations can only be seen in the Northern Hemisphere or the Southern Hemisphere. The part of the sky visible at the night at a particular place gradually changes as the seasons change. It means you can see different constellations in different parts of the year. The following figure shows some constellation and the month that they will be visible. For example, we have Pisces, Capricornus, Aries, Taurus, and Aquarius can be seen during the month of September. In March, we can see Butes, Cancer, Crater, Hydra, Leo, and Virgo. Aquila, Cygnus, Hercules, Lyra, Ophiuchus, Scorpius, and Sagittarius, which are visible in the month of June. Lastly, we have Canis Major, Cetus, Gemini, Eridanus, Orion, Perseus, and Taurus, which are seen during cold season in December. As you can see, constellation tends to change position in the night sky from east to west or westward. This is because of the eastward or counterclockwise motion of the Earth around the sun, while the rotation of the Earth on its axis causes the apparent nightly movement of the stars across the sky. The revolution is responsible for the fact that we can see different parts of the sky at different parts of the year. That is why the set of constellations that a person can see changes as the seasons change. I hope you learned something new today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, this has been Ms. Levy C. Herpasho, your Science 9 teacher. Leaving you with a saying from Farrell Williams, Don't wait for the stars to align. Reach up and rearrange them the way you want. Create your own constellation.